It was an early morning at Kentwell High School. Three of the drops were staying by her locker with her best friend, Lyme. They were just talking about some stuff they had doing, been doing on the summer break, now it has been back again for school. When suddenly, Lyra brought up a topic of, have you heard? Have you heard what? She asked. There's going to be a new transfer student. Really? I haven't heard anything about it. So, where did you hear it from? I actually heard, overheard Principal Celestia and Vice Principal Luna talking about this new student that's going to be transferred here in the next week or so. Oh? Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? Is it actually a boy? Do you know why he's been transferred here though? Is, I mean, that does like it is un unheard of. No, I don't know actually. I didn't get that part. As they were just talking about this potential new student that's gonna be here, Lyra noticed on her watch and said, We should probably hurry before we get for late for the first class. Oh yeah, you're probably right. So they both ran to the first class. In event of during that day, Sweetie Sweet Drops actually overheard a few other students talking about these new students. Some there were rumors or gossip, maybe that there was a reason why he was transferred to this new school. But it later turns out Lyra found out the reason is because his parents are moving to this, had just moved to this new town from a different city. So, the rest of the school was just wondering who can this mysterious classmate gonna be? How is it like? How is like that? But the next week, Principal Celestia and Vice Principal Luna had made an announcement and got all the students in the gym hall. They actually saw this new young man young boy by the name Night Train. When, when Vice Principal Luna asked if anyone was willing to stand up as a guide for him this for the past two days, Sweet Drops actually rose her hand first and she was accepted. In the hallway afterwards, they actually had a small conversation before he started that Sweet Drops started to show on him around. He jumped to the uh, nurse office, the principal's office, where to find the cafeteria and some other parts of classrooms. And he was not were appreciated. Just by the first impression of him that he was very kind, very generous, a little goofy guy, but very friendly. And even during the first lunch break that particular day, Lyra was sitting up at that table as he usually sits with her best friend. But she didn't see her at all. Until she noticed by a different table, Sweet Drops was sitting with Nitro. She wasn't really surprised though, because afterwards, Lyra was told from Sweet Drops that she sat down with Nitro just to make him feel comfortable and maybe still have some company. Well, just, since there's a whole new school, a whole new environment, and new strangers. And Lyra said that she did actually do the same thing when she started in this particular high school. And as the week went on, Night Train actually didn't have any problems to make new friends among the students, like with Flash Century in his band. And surprisingly enough, when they found out he was an actual drummer, he used to play drums when he was a bit younger and sometimes in his spare time at home. And he actually was offered to come over to Flash home and play with them every sometimes. And he did. They were actually very, very surprised how good he was in drums. And he was actually offered as like a backup drum player if something would happen. And he accepted it. For the next couple of weeks, Sweet Drops actually started to notice a little bit about this new guy, Night Train. It was something about him that makes her feel warm inside. She wasn't really, couldn't make it, couldn't really understand why, but he had this very persona, very this characteristic personality. 
but with friendly, goofy type, it was something about it that she couldn't put it down. So one afternoon, when she went along with Lyra at, at Lyra's home, just watch some TV when they when Sweet Drops asked her if she had ever considered about dating her someone in school. And Lion was a little bit surprised by this question. After all, they were watching this TV show where it's about young teenagers from a high school was one of them was actually dating one of the guys. And Lionel asked her, why not this suddenly? Sweet Drops tried to make an excuse, saying that she was just only asking curious what she wants all that. But of course, Lina didn't give that much an answer as she wanted. So she actually tried to, to ask more details. Why suddenly this question? But Sweet Drops didn't say much, just saying that she was just curious, that's all. And after that, they dropped the topic. But a few weeks later, Lyra was actually walking in the hallway when she saw my train and Sweet Drops just small talking as normal. But suddenly, when he did ask her out on an official date, that shocked her. But more surprising, Sweet Drops didn't say yes or no. She said that she really needed some time to think for the answer, which she accepted. Even after when he left, she walked up to her best friend and said, Sweet Drops, is this one you, the guy you have a crush on? Sweet Drops tried to, to hide that she was blushing, but since they were only ones in the hallway, she confirmed. She explains that for the past two weeks, she has been filled with warm inside her heart, every single like having butterflies in her stomach every single time she was talking to this guy. And she realized she did have a crush on him. But she wasn't uncertain if he even liked her the same way. But now when he did ask her out, she wasn't even really sure if he was gonna even accept an invitation or say just no to him. But Lyra was like Wait, if you have a crush on him, and he asks you out, why in the world would you even say no? It makes no sense in that, don't you? The sweet drops agree, and, but she, even though she made the promise that she was had to some time to think, but the same afternoon when she came home from school, she was actually thinking about but she did text him and said that she would like to go out. Both agreed to go to the movies on Friday at 5 p.m. And the rest of that particular week, all the things that she could even think of was this upcoming date with Night Train. She was curious, also a bit worried, nervous, all at the same time. She wasn't really sure how this date was going to go out. But she had seen a lot of comedies, or at least movies, TV shows based on dating and relationships. But she knew that they were fictional, but there was some truth in those things could happen in real life. So she felt maybe take that like a, as, as inspiration, like things what to do or not to do, what to say or what not to say. Even though this would have been her very first date ever in her whole life. On Friday at 5 p.m. exact, Night Train showed up by Sweet Drop's home and picked her up by his car. They drove to this, to this movie theater in town and they both chose to see this romance comedy movie. Actually, had a great time. Around two hours later, they actually were just talking about the movie, what they thought about it, when suddenly, Sweet Drop's stomach started growling of hunger, and it seems it was 7 p.m., and Lyra, uh, Sweet Drop said it was a, a small diner, not far from the movie theaters, 
Maybe they can go there, maybe grant something to eat, which he accepted. At, at this small diner, they were just still talking about this movie, and she even expressed that she really much felt appreciated that he asked her out. And he dropped a bombshell on this one. He even admitted that he did have a crush on her. Ever since he first saw her when he first started in high school, he couldn't even explain it back then, but he felt like she was very beautiful, very kind, very goofy of herself, and like himself. But he didn't realize until like a few weeks afterwards when he realized he was in love with her. But he was a bit too shy to even ask her out. Because he wasn't really sure if she even had a boyfriend or, or in this case, a girlfriend. But after asking, you know, some of his new, some of his new friends just to being curious, and he found out she was not dating anyone. So he thought maybe to ask her, and was where he did in the school hall. After that, he drove her home and actually took her, and said that. If she would like to go on, on another date, another date sometime later on. And she said yes. So the next time went about the next week when they decided to go to this park to have a picnic. And there they actually have a, a even still a good time. He made a lot of jokes, even to some bad ones, and she still laughed about it. She actually felt very comfortable around his company. And then even after about two weeks, they decided to make it official. Even though Lyra was the only one who knew about it from the first start, she was proud of her friend. Even though now that she also started feeling a bit jealous about her best friend. Especially that her best friend had a boyfriend. But Sweet Drops told her that she will find her own boyfriend but she feels, feels ready for it. Lyra said, maybe one day. But as the weeks went on, Bristol School was actually had been aware of what they've been dating and all that. They were actually happy for life and sweet drops, especially sweet drops. But as the winter came into town, sweet drops and night rain were supposed to be meeting at the movie theaters around 5 p.m. He texted her that she that he was already at the movies because his own car was in a car shop for getting some repairs. So his mom drove him. So she said that her mom was going to drive her to the movie theaters around 5, around 4, 45 p.m so they could have a conversation before the movie started. But it didn't happen, because he waited, and waited, and waited. The time went from 5 p.m. to nearly 6 p.m. He waited for her for an hour. He was getting a bit worried, and started wondering if he was set up from this that she wasn't even going to come show up at all. So he texted her, but no answer. He called her, no answer. And now he started from wondering if he was even had made the right choice. What if she was actually just standing up on him, like leaving her, and never she was going to show up. So he didn't do anything else and called his mother that to pick him up and she wasn't surprised because they're supposed to be being picked them up around 7. But I explained that my sweet drops didn't show up. She wasn't surprised because she had met her a couple of times and she always seems to be a polite and always, always called and advanced if something would have happened. But since when he explained, no text, no calls back from her, he tried, but nothing. So his mom picked him up, drove home, and by the next day, when he woke up, he literally woke up when his phone started ringing. He was like, hello? At first there was silence, 
but then there was like frantic screaming in the background on the other end. It was like... Night Train, have you heard? <sighs> Lyra? And he looked at the phone and at the on the wall. It's like, it's 7 in the morning. What do you want? Have you been heard about Night the Sweet Drops? No, she even showed up yesterday on the, at, in the movies as opposed to what she we made plans for. So you haven't known it? No, what happened? What is what is about? She's in the hospital. And that made statement alone made them sit up right in the bed like what? Why? What happened? he asked. She was hit by a car yesterday. On her way to the movies. Oh, oh, oh. On her way to the movies? I thought her mom was going to drive her. Yeah, she was supposed to be, but her mom was had to be over, had to do some, had to stay over to work. So, Light Sweet Drops has to be walking to this movies. It turns out when she was crossing an in intersection not far from the movie theaters, a car hit her from the behind, or at least from the side of the car, and she was immediately in an hospital. Done. How is she? Do you know? All I know from her mom that she is. She was in a surgery almost a half of a night. Surgery? Is that serious? Uh huh. And she was having several broken ribs, a severe concussion, and they don't even know if she's gonna make it. And that alone made him drop his phone to the floor. Night train? Are you still there? She called over the phone. And he was silent. He just found out his girlfriend was in the hospital. In a critical condition. And that the doctors wasn't really sure if she was going to make it. After being hit by a car. But he picked up the phone and started asking more details. Like, what happened? If she knows anything what happened what led up this, this, this accident. Turns out the driver was actually trying to stop in a red light. There was black ice on the, on the road. And the car slipped on the ice and hit sweat drops by accident. He asked her if he knew if any of the update about her condition. But all she know that she was still unconscious and very critical. But he ex he asked her if she knows exactly what which room number and what hospital. Turns out well it's two big hospitals in town. And she explained told them where where she was, where to find, to find her. So he thanked her, hang up, got dressed, and left the house. The house almost immediately around eight in the morning. Even though the visitor the hours wasn't supposed to be around like ten in the morning, but he didn't even care. He drove all the way to the hospital, asked the receptionist where to find the room, but she told them the visitor's hours are not even for another two hours, but. He had to wait in the waiting room. In the waiting room, about two hours later, he was allowed to see her. Sweet Russell hooked up to some machines, a list of breathing machines. The doctor told him that her condition had been at least been stable and wasn't no longer considered as critical. But she was still unconscious, but they wasn't sure when she would wake up. After a couple of days, she did, but she was still groggy and didn't even remember much what happened to the body accident. But she said that she was sorry if she missed out the date, but he said, don't worry about it. As long as you make your full recover, that's all that matters, he said. And in fact, the doctor said that she may have to been spending like maybe like two to three weeks in hospital. And after like three weeks, in fact, she was allowed to go home, but the doctor told her 
that she may have to stay home for another week just in case of trying to rest and some more healing. So her parents had made a private tour, like a homeschooling, just for maybe one or two more weeks. So after two weeks, she was allowed to go back to school, but no gym class at all. At least for a time being. When she got back to school, all the students were actually happy to see that she's back, she was just made, made up all for a cover. They didn't even ask her much about how she was feeling or what happened, since they only knew what happened. They accept they respected her privacy. And of course, after that school day was over, my train took three drops to the house back to the park. So they could spend some time and they even went to a small diner just in the area to get some something to eat. He explained when when Lyra called him frantically. He was almost losing his own mind. Hearing that his own girlfriend was in the hospital is a condition. He felt almost like he was going to have a heart attack. Sweet drops. She explained to him that she felt the same thing. It would have felt the same thing if there was him in the hospital, not her. But in the end, both were just agreed and happy that she made it. But even despite what happened, their relationship remained solid and strong, an unbreakable bond between them. Even though when that night train was so close to losing sweet drops, but he made a promise. He will always will be there for her no matter what happens. And she will appreciate it. And sometimes after they finished high school, Night Train was has been offered to go to, to a college outside the different state. Meantime, Sweet Rock decided to remain in a small community college in Clinton City. Despite the distance, they actually remained solace as their relationship. Sure, there were always some girls in the same college that Night Train went to, but he explained to them that he was already in a, a very strong relationship with a girl back home, and they respected it. Even though, despite the distance, they weren't unable to see each other as often they wanted. The only few times in a year they were only allowed to see each other was like during the summer break, or winter holiday break. But that was like a few weeks each time, so at least they were able to see each other as often as they could. But after a while though, they managed to finish college themselves. Around the time when after, just before Night Switch Robs had finished her college, she actually had got herself an apartment in Cantal City, and Night Train was aware of it. After they both have finished, they actually moved in together. And it was actually a good place, after all. There was the, enough space for them both to have a good time. And Night Train, he actually started working as a mechanic in town, and he very much loved that job. Sweet Drops, she actually started working at this small candy store in town, and she loved it as well. Was it enough profit for them both that made a good payment for the for the for the rent and all that? But after just two more years, Night Train proposed to Sweet Drops, and she said yes. It was like beyond any of the dreams, though, because Sweet Drops was actually was hoping and waiting one day that he would, and now he did. They told their friends and families that they were actually all happy. But they choose to have a small close wedding just because of the same causes and all that. They only had a very limited budget. But of course, the both families to help wanted to help as much as they could. And they did. They invited them though. 
Lyra was being asked to be Sweet Drop's bridesmaid, and Flash to be Night Train's best man. They even had a small wedding at the park, and, and also, Flash and his band performed at the party afterwards, which both Sweet Drops and Night Train very much appreciated. Both families could see how happy they were together. It was like a whole world for them just came to new, a new start. And afterwards, they even went to uh, they went to their honeymoon in a small cabin, which Night Train's parents had rented for them for about a weekend. Even they wish they could go to some big place, but having a cabin for about a weekend was a was close enough for them to be in there. As long as they were being together, that was all the matter. And just three years after they'd been married, they both announced they were expecting a baby girl. <laughs> they were really happy. And especially both families could be overjoyed to hearing the first granddaughter in the family. And three years after that, they were expecting a baby boy. And they were even happier. Night Train was really excited and happy to be with someone like Sweet Rose. Ever back in high school, he felt that she was a very goofy, kind girl to be with. And now he's happily married, having a daughter in him. This is the most amazing that he could even ask for. And same thing for her. She was happy for him. And this is how. Sweet Drops and Night Train by the True Love are found together. The end.